you want me to to explain a little bit the exhibition and present yourself? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's what I was asking. <laughs> I'm Kate Turner, I'm the Director of Healing Through Remembering. It's a cross-community organisation that looks at how we deal with the past relating to the conflict in and about Northern Ireland. One of our discussions was about whether or not there should be a living memorial museum. And when we started that discussion, we thought, even if we decided to have a museum, is there actually anything to put in it? Because this topic had been not covered in our museums and there was no artefacts that we were aware were being gathered. We were really surprised to discover nearly half a million items uh, during some research that we did. And we then realised instead of discussing should we build a museum, should we have a big building, that actually the museum exists. The materials are there, they're just in places that people can't necessarily get to them. So we decided to put on a temporary exhibition where we borrowed items from people and put them together um, with telling different stories, different voices from the conflict. What we did was we said that people could decide what item to lend us. It just needed to be something about the everyday life during the conflict. And we also said, you write the label about your item and nobody can make you change that. But then we decided that collectively, everybody involved, everybody in the, that we had found that had items, would be part of deciding where the collection went to. And we at Healing Through Remembering would decide how people, uh, how the, the items were displayed, so what sat beside what. And that, that way there were three different ways of making decisions. We thought this would be a, a temporary exhibition for only a couple of months. But uh, the people who lent us the items have asked us to keep it going. And so it's still being shown in different places around uh, Northern Ireland and the south of Ireland and beyond. And we've also created this board version of it so that we can share it with other friends and other people who are interested in seeing how we can look at issues after conflict. Okay. 